Alright, today we'll be ranking YouTube dramas on a tier list based on how much it'll affect your YouTube career. For the worst. S tier is obviously a point of no return tier. Once you're involved in these types of dramas, then kiss your YouTube career goodnight. While lower tiers like F tier is basically dramas you can somewhat get away scot-free. Anyway, let's begin. Let's start off with something strong. A drama that only a few people got away with, but with a price. I'm talking about dramas that involves grooming, or the dreaded pedophile allegations. This is going straight in the S tier. Once you get accused and got involved knee deep in the situation, and you have little to no evidence for yourself, and especially if you're caught in 4K, you're to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. Then consider yourself cooked. And even if you make a response video with receipts and manage to unfuck yourself, there's still some things you gotta let go and make sacrifices for. Like Pyrocynical. Yeah. And then. Oh, fuck. Oh. He saved himself from the grooming allegations, but is now kink shamed as a fat fetishist. Or quite, who sacrificed his facial identity and his sexual orientation. Look. The only way to avoid this drama is to do the obvious, and it's not to be weird or pervertedly message minors. Up next is the racism allegations. Did you accidentally or purposely say the no no word in front of hundreds of people? Don't nag. No one likes a nag. Or unironically, Yes, unironically, reference a certain group led by the Mustache Man. Or maybe you doubled down and did both. Getting in drama due to being a racist has some consequences, sure. But in my opinion, it depends on the race being racist to another race. I don't want to get all political with race and all that nonsense, but I've seen countless vloggers making fun of the country they're visiting. And guess what? Most of them don't even get any backlash. However, if you're famous and you said the no-no word in the past or today, on stream or on camera, Justice, all fucking righteous fucking nick! Then chances are, that will bite you in the butt. Anyway, I'm putting racism around at C tier. Up next is a sleeper pick, and that is YouTube drama involving your significant other. Essentially bringing your relationship drama into your YouTube career. Like for example, both you and your significant other are YouTubers, or has presence online, who you may or may not work with at making videos, and maybe the relationship didn't end well. So both of you either signed a divorce, broke up, or you cheated. Now at first, why would relationship drama affect your YouTube channel? Well, it won't affect your channel first, but as time goes on, you'd realize that without that person, you'll feel depressed and might never move on. Or maybe that significant other is someone you don't shut up about on how much you love them. And you got caught cheating. My wife. 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 Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. On Labor Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. And as time goes on, your mind goes on a downward spiral basically affecting how you do YouTube, and in turn, affecting your YouTube career. Sure, there are people who move on, but for those who don't, well, unfortunately, their mental health and their YouTube career is basically at the point of destruction. I have nothing to lose because the only thing that I want is my son. I gave up my channel. I gave up everything. I gave up my income. I don't care about it anymore. I just want my son. Which is why this drama deserves a B-tier spot. The next drama is a jack of all trades and essentially very broad. And that's YouTube drama because of you being a dumbass. Let me explain. Basically, drama you got into because you were a little too silly. And because of that, your YouTube career is in deep waters. Like for example, this could range from pranking your best friend by being executed in front of him, filming dead people, or scamming your audience. Like I said, this drama is very broad. But basically, it's the good old Reddit term of 
play stupid games with stupid prizes. Maybe you got too silly and it reached news headlines, basically giving your channel bad recognition. Remember the dude who filmed the dead body? Of course you do! No one would forget about him and his online shenanigans. His YouTube never got axed, and he never got his redemption arc, by still being in deep waters, and this time for scamming his audience. Like I said, even if you done goofed, you can still somewhat come back from it. And even if you did, make sure you do not do the same stupid shenanigans again. And maybe this time, the people won't be as forgiving, which puts this at the bottom of B tier. Next is the abuse allegations. Now this could range from physical or emotional abuse. This is the same as relationship drama, but with conflict and there's legal party involved. If it's basically just relationship drama involving two adults and lawyers, then depending on what lawyer you hire, you may or may not get the results you want. But if you get in deep with abuse involving children, then that's another different story. These family channels who exploit or sometimes abuse their children usually gets their channels axed, which is a good thing. It's actually one of the few channels I'm glad it gets removed from YouTube after they get into this type of drama, which is why this drama is straight to A tier. Next is probably the only F tier, and that's drama because your channel is cringe and a bigger channel or a collective of channels bullies you. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Well, for me, this type of drama is basically the saying that any publicity is good publicity. These channels who bully these cringy channels like Jellybean, for example, would unironically give them an audience and increase their views. Not only that, but if the bullying gets too popular, then bigger channels would come to the rescue and defend you. In turn, giving your channel even more audiences. Just like uh, all the commentary YouTubers making a thousand videos on it, they got, it wasn't the commentary community, but like the community itself got really angry about her making videos that were cringy. Cause cringe is like the ultimate sin. So they got really mad that they were experiencing cringe from her. So they doxed her and started like threatening her and her family through Facebook and shit. But in the end of the day, some small channels whose cringy is just them being themselves gets too bullied and in turn they don't make YouTube videos anymore. So this puts it at a higher spot, right? Well, no. Given how lazy this form of drama is, I'm putting it at a very low tier. Anyway, for the final drama, and this is another sleeper pick. Anyway, for the final drama, and this is another sleeper pick, and that is drama involving beef with another YouTuber. The pinnacle of YouTube drama. Nothing screams entertaining other than two big e-celebs duking it out with long videos, basically destroying the other party. Why did most YouTubers stop this form of beef? What happened to long-form videos exposing each other and response videos? That shit is way more entertaining than boxing matches locked inside a paywall. Anyway, this form of drama is straight to S tier. If you made it at the end of the video, then thank you. I can't appreciate you enough that you'd sit here and give me your time as I ramble on about useless shit. Anyway, comment down below, Toddy, I challenge you in a boxing match, if you really did make this far. If you like more long form content like this and want more variety, other than me making memes of current situations or other brain rot related content, why so skippity? Then feel free to tell me, as I plan to make more of these every month. Yeah, that's, that's it. See ya. I'm doing good. <laughs> you don't have to pat me on the head. <laughs>